Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we'll be learning about how we read and write data into an Excel file. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up your uh, Pella Studio and create a new project. Give a meaningful name. I'm gonna give the name of read Excel. Once it opens up, it creates uh, that global and automation in the project uh, window, which is similar to the Solution Explorer window in Visual Studio. And in the right hand side, you can see the property window. So I'll just uh, open up the automation file. And now, the first step we need is an event to trigger our automation. So that event is project started. So I'll just drag that event here. And the next thing is, I need some data to hold something. So I'll have the data in a string variable. And I'll just connect the flow. Put some data here. or a semi you can keep any data there now we want this data to be written into the excel file so let's go ahead and create an excel file so we'll open up a folder right click and create a new excel file uh, i'll just give the name as a list you can give any name and another thing that uh, keep in mind that we don't have a license here to use the Excel file, although uh, we have the two different options in Vega Studio uh, to control the Excel file or to have any Excel operation there. Although manually we cannot read and write any data in this Excel file, if I click on this uh, close button, it open it up but i cannot do any operation here i cannot manually write or read the data here but let's see if uh, our studio can be able to control the excel file or not so i'll just go ahead and get the excel connector so when I search for the Excel, we can see the two different options again. If you have the Excel properly licensed and you want to show it to the user, so user can also do some operation while what is running, then you can use the Microsoft Excel. But in our use case, we do not have Excel license and you can read out the detail about this connector. I'll just uh, drag and drop here. So it is added in rpc and if you go to the plate you should see in the global so i'll just drag and drop oh before uh, using any uh, prop okay let's use that so here you can see all the option earlier if we select any connector or any kind of uh, uh what do you call um uh, Control here, you will be seeing your property method and event at the bottom. But now that option is available in more. So once you click on the more, you will see all the property method and event here. And what we want to do is write the data. So to write the data, we want to use the set. So to read the data, here we'll have get method but in our use case we want to write the data so we'll be using set cell value so if you search for this method you can again get the two different options one if you have the complete address like a1 a2 b1 b3 or something or if you have a sequence row and column a uh, sequence then you can use the second method so in our use case we'll be writing the cell value using the cell address so i'll just drag and drop it here and 
go ahead and just add the data here and the address will use uh, will pick up any random value so i'm going to use the c3 you can use any any cell address there as for your requirement now before we run this automation we also need to tell the uh, our uh, bot to which excel file it need to write or read so if you click on the connector you don't see the property window here but on the top you see the project window if we, if we go to the project and go to the gc then you will see this connector and at the connector you see the file name and click on this three dot select the file click on save all now go back to the automation on the top you will see whatever you open up it shows here on the top so go back to the automation run it click on test and you are done now go back and check in the excel file does it show the value oh it's not showing the value because we missed one step to save the data so let's go ahead and save the excel file once you are done with the operation so i'll stop it and drag and drop more option save and that is part of method i'll use no parameter or you can use save and the path has a parameter so i use no parameter connect it and again save it and run save run and now go ahead and check it out now you can see the value here on the let me close this window close so this is how you can write the value into the excel file now we'll read out that value that value is in cell c3 close I'll close it out stop and now we'll use get cell value so to reading the value we need get so value again there are two two parameters so we'll use the first one with the address i'll just connect it pass on the address value which is c3 and result will show in a message box I'll go to the toolbox, look for a message. And show that value. This time, we'll step through the complete process. So I'll add a breakpoint to show it to you. and run run all so we are on the first step i'll just press f11 or this tiny button to go to the next one here you can see the a variable value which is my product we are passing on that value is stored in c3 here you can see the value as well now it is saving the excel file now it's gonna read the value out of excel file again which is c3 and the my product now you can see the value is displayed in the message box so this is how you can read and write an excel file using rpeg robotic so thanks for watching see you in next video